remember when I was looking for a home birth midwife for my birth and I reached out to my fellow doula sister, my friend Rio, and she was just helping me brainstorm. And she said, um, when you're looking for a midwife, you need, you got to make sure, um, that if you go past a certain time that they're not going to try to make you automatically transfer. Right. Like if you go pack past 40 or 42 weeks, that that midwife is not going to force you to transfer or that midwife is not going to tell you that you have to transfer because you signed her contract. And in her contract, it states that you have to transfer and you go past this amount of weeks. And I don't really see birth workers talk about this a lot um, in the content or the birth community, but I think it's really important. When you are deciding to hire a midwife, you need to be reading over her contract to make sure that if you go over your due date by their scheduled time, that there will not be a forced transfer because some midwives will make you transfer. And something else that I want to add is that only 5% of women actually give birth on their due date. Um, now, some midwives will make you do stretch tests and different things if you go past that due date because this is the policy procedures and things that they have to do within uh, their licensure. So they can't really bypass it. A lot of them can't. Some will, but some of them can't because their license is on the line.